Welcome back friends. Today we're going to be making a smoothie which will help you with weight loss. This recipe really worked for me especially now that I am older and going through menopause. Those two factors make it very hard for a woman to lose weight. But this smoothie has really helped me to shed those pounds. One of the key ingredients in this smoothie is beet. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some of the benefits of beets. Of course, as you know, there are many benefits. One of them being that it helps with weight loss. It has very powerful antioxidants. It helps to boost your immune system. It helps lower your cholesterol levels. It boosts athletic performance. And this kind of goes with the weight loss because if it boosts your athletic performance, your routine of workout, whatever that may be, then you're probably more likely to lose the weight. So this smoothie gives me a lot of energy and therefore I believe helped me to lose the weight. And I believe that it will help you too. Now let's get started with the ingredients that you're gonna need for this smoothie. The first ingredient, of course, is going to be bananas. Bananas, I'm going to be adding four bananas. Now make sure when you do the bananas that they have spots on them because if they do not have spots on them, they will irritate your stomach and cause you to possibly be constipated. And we're trying to avoid constipation and we're trying to avoid having an upset stomach. So please make sure that your bananas are ripe. Then we're going to be adding one beet. Make sure to, you can, what you can do is you can leave the greens of the beets if you want to. I don't always do that, but sometimes I do. It's up to you, it's your choice. Then we're going to add two cups of arugula. If you don't have arugula, add the greens that you choose. Remember to always rotate your greens. So whatever, like let's just say this week you're eating spinach, then add spinach. If next week you're adding arugula, add arugula. If you're the following week you're adding kale, then add kale. Whatever green week you're at, then add just add that green to it, to this a smoothie. Then we're going to add lemon. We're gonna add the juice of one lemon. Then we're going to add dates. I'm going to be adding three dates. And make sure your, um, that if your dates are not soft, that you soak them maybe one to two hours before using them. You don't have to, but I like to because it makes them sweeter and it just makes them a little bit more softer. If you don't do it, when you blend, a lot of times you'll tend to have little bitty pieces of really hard, like really hard little pieces in your smoothie. And that's because of the dates. So in order to avoid that, because I like my smoothies to be as smooth as possible, I like to soak my dates. So you can do that. It's up to you. Then we're going to add water. I'm gonna be adding two cups of water. Of course, add as much or as less water as you would like, depending on the consistency of the smoothie that you would like. Then just blend all the ingredients together and your smoothie is ready. Of course, when you have a smoothie, if you want to, you can add a topping, you know, sprinkle a little bit of fruit on top if you like. It's up to you or not. I hope you guys enjoy this smoothie. Let me know below if there's any other type of smoothie that you would like for me to create for you guys. And I will see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.